As I review more and more guitars, I'm, I'm slowly starting to realize that it's not just about how expensive a guitar is or how good it might sound, although that is a very important part too, but I've come to realize that it's mainly about how fun it is to play. Now, does the guitar make you wanna pick it up and play? And if so, then you've got a great guitar on your hands. Hey guys, Dave here from Guitar Zero to Hero, and in this video, I'll be doing a review of perhaps one of the more unique guitars that I've had the pleasure of playing, and that's the LAG THV10 DCE High Vibe Smart Guitar. Now, is it the perfect guitar? Not quite, but am I impressed? Absolutely. Now, why do they call it a smart guitar? Well, that's because it's fitted with the High Vibe guitar system, which boasts some pretty killer features that turn this guitar that already sounds pretty good by itself into a guitar that you can truly have hours and hours of fun playing. And that has definitely been my experience so far. So the guitar itself isn't anything too unusual. We have a dreadnought shape with a cutaway, a solid red cedar top with mahogany back and sides. It's built by Lag Guitars, who are a great French guitar manufacturer. Out of the box, I was very happy with the setup, the action and the tone. Absolutely nothing to dismiss there. It's, it's nice to play, great feel on the fretboard. Certainly what you'd expect from a guitar at this price point. So we have a tick there, and of course I'll be showing you how it sounds later in the video. So where this guitar sets itself apart is with the high vibe system, which is only exclusive to these large guitars currently. What this system does is it adds multi effects, a looper, a metronome, and a tuner all internally, and can even turn your guitar into a Bluetooth speaker, which is pretty crazy. Now this is done without any cables or pedals, which for me is one of the biggest draw cards. I'm often way too lazy to go into my study, turn on the acoustic amp, plug in my looper there. But with a high vibe, I can just do it basically on the couch or basically anywhere I go without needing wall socket power. So the convenience really makes this so inviting to play. Those features also translate over into a live setting too. So if you wanna plug in to a PA system or an acoustic amp, then the effects and the looper that's all there for you as well. It's not just uh, a portable ability. Now, the concept of having inbuilt effects on an acoustic guitar isn't anything new. We've seen that first from the Yamaha Transacoustic Series and then also with the Tonewood Amplifier and also more recently with the Lava Me Carbon Fiber Guitars. Now, I think inbuilt effects are a very cool feature on an acoustic guitar. They do add another layer of inspiration I personally use my Lava Me just before bed and I use the reverb uh, as I find it super relaxing. But having a looper on board and the ability to stream music straight to your guitar and using the soundboard as the speaker uh, really does take it to that next level. So High Vibe also works off different technology as well. Uh, it has two exciters. Now those two exciters are actually attached to the front of the guitar whereas the other systems are attaching it to the back of the guitar. Now with this method, you actually get a much louder amplification of the effects, and that's how they're actually able to turn your guitar into a Bluetooth speaker as well. And they've done some clever stuff with the system to make sure it doesn't actually feed back when you're streaming music or, or playing your loop. So anyway, enough talking. First, let me show you how this guitar sounds by itself. Uh, without the effects and then with the effects unplugged and then with the effects plugged into the Boss Acoustic Singer amp. And do keep in mind that this is all happening within the guitar. There's no external pedals or cables I'm using to add these effects. Then after that, I'm gonna be running you through the looping and the speaker capabilities, which are absolutely my favorite parts of this guitar and the high vibe system.
So as you could probably hear, the effects were actually a lot more prominent when plugged into an amp or a PA system. When you're using the inbuilt speaker unplugged, the FX kind of gets blended by the natural sound of the acoustic guitar on your lap. So audibly, you kind of perceive the effects to be less pronounced than they actually are. So if you do want to use this guitar and the effects in a live setting, make sure that you create your FX patches and adjustments whilst plugged in so you can hear exactly what you're going to get. If you create your patches without being plugged in and then you plug into a PA system, it's going to sound quite different. So that actually takes me to the next part of this video where I'm going to show you how you can use the app to create your own effects patches that you can save onto the guitar. So once you're connected to the app, you can then go in and fine tune those effects. Now, if you want to adjust an effect, for example, let's, let's tweak this echo one. You go to modify and then right now it's just a delay. So let's listen to that. But let's say we want to add a chorus to that too. So we can do that. Let's see how it sounds. Now the other thing you want to do is select what parameter you want the slider to control. So if you go into chorus right now, any parameter that has that little blue dot next to it means that the slider is controlling that parameter. So let's say um, we want the slider to control the dry and wet of the chorus. We'll just hold on to that until that little blue dot is on that parameter. Play with this effect. And I turn the slider all the way down. The chorus is effectively gone because I've taken that all out. So that slider is affected by whatever parameter you select on the app. All right, so now let me show you how the looping function works. And this really for me is the best part about this guitar. Okay, so if we wanna use our looper, first off we need to set a tempo for the metronome to record our loop. So you need to go into metronome first, and then you can go into the settings here and adjust the time signature or the tempo. Currently it's at 120, but I'm gonna take it down to about 90. Now you can turn the metronome on, so you can just use it as a standalone metronome to practice with, like that, and you can tweak the volume just with the knob here. So now we'll go into the looper, and what you can do is actually adjust how many bars you want to be recorded and looped, so currently it's set at four, but also what effect will be applied after you've done your loop. So I can record my loop with a reverb effect for example, and right after that's recorded and starts looping, I can then kick it into a chorus, for example. So let's record our loop and just have a bit of fun. Honestly had so much fun using the inbuilt looper on this guitar and the fact that I can do it anywhere is a massive bonus. A couple of limitations I found though, one you can't overdub on your loop, at least not yet, and two there's no way to scroll through previous loops that you've saved, again at least not yet. The guitar has 8 gigabytes of inbuilt storage so that's about 25 hours of audio loops that you can record to the guitar. So in a way, you can use the looper as almost like a portable recorder to keep any ideas that you can come up with. You can access them if you plug your guitar into a computer using the USB-C cable, but you can't access those older loops directly from the guitar or the app, which I thought was a little disappointing, but they have told me it's something they're working on. 
the great thing is this is all software based, so they can change things down the line. So now I'm gonna show you how the Bluetooth speaker works, and this is one of the coolest features on the Hive Vibe because it just makes jamming to songs so easy. So you just need to go to the speaker setting on the Hive Vibe, turn it on, then connect via Bluetooth with your mobile device. Then you can push play and now your guitar is effectively a Bluetooth speaker. Which is just so cool. And again, no wires, no nothing. And the effects are still included so you can just jam on. Now in terms of battery life, they claim up to 10 hours of play, which from my testing turned out to be pretty accurate and that should give you roughly a whole week of some solid jam sessions before needing to charge the high vibe system. For those who are curious, it is a built-in lithium battery, which according to high vibe can be replaced, but this does require a little bit of disassembly, so it should only be done if your battery is completely fried according to them. Now let's take a further look at the inputs and outputs. Now down at the bottom here, we have um, a quarter inch output jack and a quarter inch input jack. Now what you got to essentially realize that this basically is an acoustic guitar with a built-in speaker right inside. So you could connect a drum loop pedal into this input and then it would use your guitar as that amplifier and you could jam to the drum beat in, experiment with that, it, it's a whole lot of fun. Now one setup I'm experimenting with currently is running out of my guitar, of the output, into the Boss RC5, and then going back into the input of the guitar so that I can jam along with the drum machine and even record and play back loops with the RC5 and using the guitar effectively as the PA system or amplifier. In this sort of scenario, I'm basically bypassing the looper on the high vibe and I'm using it as basically a portable amp. Now the one downside I've found to this setup is that I found the, the output of the looper to be quite low. Even fully cranked on the pedal, it's still uh, a little quieter than the inbuilt looper on the high vibe system. But it is certainly loud enough and I'll show you that in a sec. And uh, using the drum beat uh, drum machine is really fun too. Alright, so let's summarize. What are the negatives to this guitar? Now, first off, there's no fretboard inlays. Now, that makes it tough for me to use this in a educational setting as um, I can't really use it for my, any of my tutorials because you won't really know where I'm playing. So that's one downside. Um, the other thing I didn't really like was uh, the rosette here and the headstock design. Um, those blue lines that they've got going, uh, I don't really vibe that look, but uh, that's just more of an aesthetic thing. Next thing, the distortion didn't sound that great unplugged. Um, I think when plugged into a PA, it was okay. It um, definitely sounded pretty cool at times, but unplugged, uh, the distortion was, yeah, it wasn't really great. It did feed back a little bit too. The other downside, this particular model doesn't come with a hard case or even a soft case. So this is the 10 model. There is the 20 and the 30 model that do come with hard cases, I believe. Another downside is that there's no overdubbing on the loops 
Also, you can't access uh, your older loops directly on the guitar. You have to plug the guitar into the computer in order to access those recordings. Hopefully they'll be able to change that on the software in the future. And also it would be nice to see a tap tempo feature. And also the other thing I didn't really like is the, um, the slider on the high vibe system. I felt that the slider was too easy to move around. So I could accidentally just flick it and then my effects would effectively disappear potentially. It would have been better in my opinion if they had just added another knob there instead of the slider because I, I feel the slider is just too easy to knock around. Okay, but what about the positives? This is a great sounding guitar. I'm really happy with it. Great action, great setup. Larg have done a great sound with this guitar. Uh, it sounds beautiful. The inbuilt effects and looper and speaker are all game changers. The high vibe system is so cool and I feel like every guitar should have them. There's no need for extra cables. There's good battery life on it. So it's about a week of solid jamming before you have to recharge it. I found the amplification of the effects and the Bluetooth speaker to be great as well. Uh, the input jack is awesome as well if you wanna add your own looper or drum machine. So that's super cool. It's awesome for practicing and improvising. And most of all, it's just a lot of fun. I, I don't think I've had this much fun jamming on an acoustic in a long time. Um, and that's just mainly due to that inbuilt looper, which yeah, I just absolutely love. And I think every guitar should have. So who could I recommend this guitar to? Well, pretty much anybody. If you're a beginner and you've got the budget, then this is a great guitar that you can grow into. If you're more experienced, then this guitar is gonna give you so many hours of fun jam time by yourself. And it's not too high of a price point either. I was quite surprised by um, this entry level model and how well it's uh, positioned. I will note that this is a dreadnought shaped guitar though, so if you are a smaller player, it might not be as comfortable as say a grand auditorium shape or smaller. So it would be cool to see them do other body variations with the high vibe system. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed this review of the lag guitar with the high vibe guitar system, which is a whole lot of fun. If you have any questions about this, then leave them in the comments below. Please leave your thoughts, comments, questions, or requests as well. And I'll see you guys next time on Guitars Already Hero. Cheers.